but Mr. Lu goes straight to the trunk and the roots. So it, equo- it equates to everything. So one, one seed equals to the whole uh, branches and trees, something like that. So basically, um, if your heart, and then he goes further actually, he levels up as, as he goes. So he say, if you cultivate goodness without attaching to the goodness itself, to the notion of you doing good, uh, then whatever you do will always be perfect. That means whatever you do will always be natural, will always be uh, perfect. It's around. But if your heart has attached to the goodness that you did, or the goodness itself, even though you do it a lot of good deeds, like what they say, 3,000 meritorious deeds, stuff like that, you only restrict it to half goodness. So the level of goodness you reach is half. The, the, the weight of goodness is only half. So, for example, using wealth to help, I mean, using money, monetary um, financials to help others, uh, you must cultivate um, no, non-attachment to the notion of goodness. So first, you must not see that you have done the good deeds. You must not see other people receiving from your good deeds. And you must not see the deeds itself as a good deed. Uh, that is what it meant by um, emptiness, the, 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 the doctrine of emptiness when we are cultivating uh, giving, parameter of giving. So this is what we call a pure heart. If we have that kind of level of cultivation in terms of uh, doing good deeds. That means you, you still have to do it, but when you do it, um, you do not say Dylan has donated $1 million. Uh, UNESCO has received $1 million. And then uh, there's no notion of this $1 million has been donated for good cause. So you're aware of what's happening. You are doing what's happening without any form of regret or without any form of trying to get praise so it, it just happened naturally by itself. If we can do that, then it's, um, it's what we call a pure heart. And this kind of heart, when you, you use it anywhere, treating any kind of people, doing any kind of thing, then even though your good deeds is a little bit, maybe you're helping people uh, with their, you know, uh, maybe walking through the streets, small stuff, but the merits that it accrue is un- infinite. Small deeds can accrue infinite merits. Doesn't have to you. You don't have to do like actually three thousand deeds for that, because your heart you have captured the roots of it. Your heart is right, and you're not attached, so you're not bound to a certain ideas on views, which is what we call erroneous view, erroneous ideas. You have attained emptiness, which is pure pure heart. So whatever you do is out of the pure purity of heart. There's no um, me you he uh, and what in there. So one word can also help to resolve all the conflicts. Oh, yeah. Um, when we look at this word, we, we think about nowadays media has uh, pasted a lot of uh, those, uh, you know, fake news or a lot of uh, one of those uh, not so, uh, they don't report the facts sometimes, they just speculate and speculate and they keep you know causing a lot of trouble and if there is a person who can um, come out and say the thing as it is uh, if we all learn how to do that then I think the society would be much more peaceful so this is what we, we talk by a uh, one word can help you to resolve all the you know sins of the past so um, if your heart uh, if you haven't forgotten about this idea of goodness, this idea of me doing goodness. That means if you haven't attained emptiness, um, even though you have, you know, if your coffers have, you know, millions of dollars, um, billions of property, real estates, uh, your merit will never be full. Sorry, your fortune will never be, is not considered as full. So the good fortune that you accrued is only material. So this is re- restricted. People who have good fortune and their fortune is filled up to the brim to the maximum is a person who has a heart of an ocean because they don't have attachment to myself so their heart is not as narrow uh, as the ordinary people 
And this kind of person can take in, uh, how to say, all sorts of fortune into their into their coffers, we call it. Fortune coffers. Xin Tian. So this is what this is how we should understand about goodness and what we should strive towards, the level that we should strive towards. It's in, in Buddhism words, the first step is emptiness. 